Hello and welcome to the standard operating procedure for the Volcano MF150D boiler. This video will demonstrate the correct startup, testing, and shutdown procedure of the boiler system. We will begin the video with our pre-start checks. Start by checking the logbook and having a turnover with the previous shift to ensure a mutual understanding of the state of the boiler. Next, check the existing pressure within the boiler and then perform a circle check. This check will include looking for hot spots on the boiler, checking the chemical feed system to ensure there are no alarms, looking for any hazards around the boiler, ensuring that the sight glass reading is accurate, checking the feed water system, checking the discharge tank, and checking the blowdown system. Check valve 34, vacuum breaker, is open. Check valve 10 is closed and valves 11 and 12 are open. Check open valves by attempting to close them slightly and then reopen them. Check valves 13, 14, and 15 tricocks are closed. Check valves 6, 7, 8, 9, and 16 blowdown valves are all closed. Check valves 24 and 25 are closed, 26 is open, 27 is closed, 28 and 29 are open, and 30 is closed. Always checking the tag prior to operating the valve to ensure the correct valve is being turned. Check feed water level and temperature. The level should be at approximately half the site glass and the temperature should be about 60 degrees. Check valves 44 and 46 are open. Valves 47, 48, 49 and 50 are open and valve 45 is closed. Check valves 21 and 23 are open and valve 22 is closed. Check the feed water float valve by pressing the lever down. You should hear this sound which indicates the switch is working. Check power to the boiler and feed water pumps are on. Check valve 39 is closed. Check valve 37 is open. Proceed upstairs to the mezzanine using the handrails for safety. Check the level in the brine tank. The level should be about two to two and a half inches. Check valves 40, 42, and 43 are all open, and valve 41 mm -hmm. is closed. Check valve 18 is open. Check valve 36 is closed. Click flex. Check gas valves 1, 3, 35, and 5 are all closed. And the main steam stop valve 17 is closed.
set the firing rate switch to low fire, turn burner alarm switch to on for 10 seconds. You will hear the fan come on. Check the fan for vibration and heat. After 10 seconds, turn the switch off. The fan will continue to operate until the purge is complete. When the purge ends, open gas valves 1, 3, 35, and 5. And then switch the burner alarm switch to the on position. After 40 seconds, you will hear this sound and the pilot light will ignite. After another 10 seconds, there will be another click heard and the main flame will ignite. Check the green burner in operation light is on. And then proceed with another circle check, again checking for hot spots and any hazards that may have occurred during ignition. As pressure begins to build, close valve 34, the vacuum breaker. Log the time that the burner was ignited. Close valve 12 and open valve 10. Once steam starts to flow through the gauge glass, close valve 10 and slowly open valve 12. Once valve 12 is open, close valve 11 and open valve 10. The water level should drop slightly and then return once valve 11 is reopened. Open valve 8 very slowly until the feed water pump comes on and you hear this sound. Close valve 8. Open valve 16 until the alarm comes on and then close valve 16. Ensure the flame has gone out and the red loss of flame light has come on then switch the burner alarm switch to the off position. Reset the low level alarm on the back of the low level switch. Log the time at which all of the tests were conducted. Restart the boiler by switching the burner alarm switch to the on position and going through the correct startup procedure. Now that the boiler has been running, there is steam pressure built up. We'll start to vent the steam. Start by opening the main steam stop valve, valve 17.
Next, open valve 36. Once all condensate has drained, close valve 37. Slowly turn the burner firing rate switch to high fire. As you turn the switch, note the position of the dampers as well as the safety switch. It's a yellow box at the top of your screen. You'll note the connecting rod moves slowly downward as the switches move to high fire. When you're ready to shut down the boiler, turn the firing rate switch back to the low fire position. Again, noting that the connecting rod of the damper is moving upwards now as we approach low fire. Once at the low fire position, switch the burner alarm switch to the off position. Close gas valves 5, 35, 3, and one. Once there is no pressure left within the boiler, open the vacuum breaker. Finally, log the time the boiler was officially shut down. Thank you for watching.